What is going on everyone? Bo here with Bo VI Arts. And the VI is actually Roman numeral 6, just in case you're wondering. Anyhow, we are watching a time lapse of a new painting that I did for my subscriber contest, my 100 subscriber contest that a Mr. Marcelo Renoir won uh, about a week, week and a half ago. So I talked to Marcelo because he won a customized digital painting and I asked him, hey, what do you like? And he goes, I really like chicks with armor. And I said, well, can't really blame you there, can I? So I spent a few days actually doing some research on, uh, you know, cosplay, that, that sort of thing. I didn't want to draw somebody else's painting. I think that's a little uh, insincere. So I found this young lady, and she's a cutie, so here we are. And I'm not going to really give like a step-by-step, -step, you know, John Madden playbook here of what's happening. But uh, I just wanted to come on here and chit-chat for a little bit. So congratulations. And I, you know what, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, you guys, if you don't know by now, I, um, I'm very new to characters and drawing humans and stuff like that. I've done it in the past with, with portraits, just pencil and paper. But I took a very lengthy art break when I grew up, so to speak. That was in quotations, you can't see that, but yes. So a couple things right off the bat. Um, first off, I this is a bad time of the year for me. I love the weather. I live in Texas, so you know it's autumn or fall, whatever you want to call it, and it just feels amazing finally. But the ragweed, uh, that is a devious plant that's pretty uh, indigenous to Texas. It destroys my allergies, so my voice probably sounds a little like it's it's a roller coaster with me. I get better, and then I get worse, and then I get better, and then I get worse, so it's been a very bad week for me. <laughs> uh, also, we, we uh, have some new equipment, so I've been messing around with Photoshop for quite some time. Uh, probably three or four weeks now. I've progressed from the iPad to CS6 for everything. So if you have any CS6 questions or, you know, technique, skill questions, things like that, then just let me know and, you know, we can learn together because I'm still learning CS6. I haven't really messed with Photoshop since, I guess, CS3, maybe, CS4. So, yeah, new territory for me. One of the things you'll notice is a lot of times I'll draw... <clears throat> the eyes or the nose or the mouth and what I focus on is just getting the basic shape a lot of times it's a blob of value something that looks close to what the value that's represented on the screen is and then I will use the transform tool to position it where I need to and I think a lot of artists get really wrapped up in oh I have to draw it perfectly the first time and I couldn't be further from the truth I mean as a digital artist you are just that, you are a digital artist, so you should be using all the tools at your disposal. So that's kind of how I've adapted to drawing, is just uh, values. I'm very value-oriented, and I think that this is a great way to train your eye. So what I would recommend is, you know, it's nice to have the underlays where you draw the circle, okay, her head's, you know, her skull's going to be in a circle shape, and then, you know, you draw the cross, and uh, that's very important. It is. It's a very important way to learn. Um, so the values are really how I've oriented myself to drawing. Um, not only just characters, but backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, I think this is a great way to practice. It's nice to have the overlay where you you know you say hey, her her skull's a circle. Let's draw the circle. Let's, you know, do the cross. That's very important to learn all of that, you know, the anatomy and uh, just proportions. But uh, this is a great thing for me personally. I would advise trying it out because, you know, what we have is a colored picture. So what I'm doing is I'm, you know, of course, I'm drawing what I see. I'm making small changes here and there. But, you know, what my eyes are interpreting is the, the dark and the light. So... And I'm having to do that from the colored version. So it's a good way to train your eyes on values. And 
growing up, I had a really tough time with this, you know, uh, learning how to draw. It was really tough to draw something that wasn't already in black and white. So it's just a nice way to train your eye and then uh, move on from color. And this particular piece, you know, I messed around with some color <clears throat> afterwards, but there was just something kind of special about it. I, th I think it looked a little bit more rugged and, uh, and less, less pretty when it was uh, in the black and white. So I decided to leave it in the black and white. And, you know, if you guys want to see a color attempt on this, that would be something I would be more than happy to try to do. I have a couple of other pieces that I've colored in colors or something uh, that I'm uh, I'm learning still. So, And actually, Marcelo Renoir, who won this piece, is fantastic. Um, he's just, you know, you'd have to watch my 100 subscriber winner, the winner uh, reveal. And I've put his information um, on that video. And you can go check out his gallery, and it's just a uh, fantastic work. He's very good at line work, very good at characters, and uh, extremely amazing at coloring as well. So he's an up-and-coming artist. I can really tell he's he's got something special, some talent. That being said, um, I wanted to definitely reward everyone for watching my channel. So that's kind of why I made this time lapse and decided to try out all this new equipment and stuff so everybody could share this artwork but congratulations Marcelo and thank you everybody for the support sorry I sound a little under the weather and tune in for next time guys have a great day